downpour. An upward glance revealed clouds hovering in from the west. A terrible downpour was upon us. It made my arthritic joints pop and an old familiar sadness set in as I thought about the families, the children, who only hours ago were basking in the warm summer sun, obviously planning picnics, bike rides, and playdates in the park. The kind of day I remembered so often with my parents and siblings before the divorce, before having to spend sunny days mowing lawns and behind cash registers, trying to save for that Mustang that I never could afford. Before the war took my brother and the bottle took my sister, when I was forced to reckon with the fact that we'd never play one more game of catch. Outside, neighbors scurried like squirrels, packing up their backyard barbecues, hoarding delicious T-bones and ballparks. And then I saw children skipping home to escape the marble sky, finally tripping falling into the unloving arms of their parents' protectors. Too bad, I thought. They should have checked the forecast. Then I thought of that last childhood summer, that last game at the park when I dropped that can of corn fly ball that would have given us the game. Don't worry, my brother said. We'll get them next time but I was too busy blaming the drizzle that started to fall from the sky in the last inning. It caused the ball to slip out of my mitt. Too angry to appreciate the moment, the final moment, for there was no next time. Why was I so naive? I should have checked the forecast. Rain needled the roof and windows. Life was absent from the now silent street, reminding me of the emptiness within. And I felt every bit 80 years old. Sitting beside the window, I prayed everyone would make it home through the storm so they could enjoy one more day in the sun. One more game of catch.